it's my head can never stop, this can never stop, ayy, this my head can never stop, hold up, nah, nah, ayy, this my head can never stop, hold up, nah, nah, ayy, this my head can never stop, hold up, nah, nah, ayy, this my head can never stop, hold up, nah, nah, one time, one time, ayy, I live on a job, right, yeah, I'm always at work, right, real people stay by me, right, haters wanna do hurt, right, know they tryna stop me, right, drag my name through dirt, to the hate, right? I just answer with smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this. Nah, nah. Number 
Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. So God says, speak unto who? The children of Israel. But what about the whole world? The children of Israel. Only his people. Remember earlier he said, as for my people, the Lord always been serious about his only people. The children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes uh -huh. in the borders of their garments. So he said, command them to wear, make fringes in the borders of their garments. Read on. Throughout their generation. As long as we still regenerating and we here still having babies regenerating. Read. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. That's what you see right here. Read. And these are the fringes. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe uh -huh. that you may look upon it. Why? Look upon it. So that you look upon it for what? And remember all the commandments of the Lord. It's for us to look upon and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Right. So guess what? If you have fringes on your clothing, the next time you was going to cut that beard down, you would think to yourself, hey, you know what? God's laws say I can't completely shave my beard. You see what I'm saying? I can't completely shave my head. That's why it's important that you need these things because we are forgetful people. Right. But the Lord said, no, I ain't going to give you no excuses. Wear your fringes. Remember the commandments. When you know you have a wife and you see an attractive sister, guess what you got to do? Remember God's commandments. Lord, the Lord said one wife. So right now, one wife. That's all you can have. Lord. That's what he gave us. So read on. And and do them. Uh-huh. And that ye seek not after so your said, own and heart. do the commandments. Go read that part again. That ye seek not after your own heart. So the Lord said, I don't want you to seek after your own heart. Because why? Your heart, your mind can deceive you. It can tell you many different things. Have you ever done something evil before and then made your mind up to why it was good in the end? I'm sure we all done it before. That's why you're smiling. That's why the Lord is saying you need them fringes on so you can remember, nah, bro. No matter what evil thing you gonna come up in your mind, as a matter of give me Jeremiah chapter four, verse 22. No matter what, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, check that flare out. It's free information. It's a website on the back, all right? All right, man, nice to meet you. So I'm gonna show you what the Lord's talking about. He knows his people. This is a first. This Bible right here is a personal diary between the Lord and His people, the so-called Black Hispanic Indians. Right? That's There's right. Nobody else. It's written with you. You understand? This is your words. This is your forefathers. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter four, verse twenty-two. Uh -huh. yeah. For my people is foolish. So you see this again. For my people, why is everything so possessive with God? Because He's only dealing with one nation of people. So read that again. Yes. Jeremiah chapter four, verse twenty-two. Uh -huh. For my people is foolish. She said, my people is foolish. Meaning, we do some crazy stuff. You know the crazy stuff we do today? Our young women twerk everywhere. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter. They go in Walmart. They go wherever. That's a foolish thing. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. So read that again. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. Uh -huh. For my people is foolish. Uh -huh. They so, have not. Going back to the foolish. Because you're a young man. You ever seen some of these challenges? Where they set themselves on fire, that's a foolish thing. You don't see no little Asian kids doing that. You see what I'm saying? You don't see no little Arabian kids doing that. Right. Black and Hispanic folks are doing that. Right. Drinking Thai, a laundry detergent. Right. That's a foolish thing. The Lord said, My people foolish. They right. come yeah. yeah. without me giving them instruction. Read. They have not known me. He said, We have not known him. Read. They are Scottish children. He said that they are Scottish children. Scottish is just a synonym for stupid. The Lord is literally calling us stupid without this Bible. Read. And they have none understanding. He said we lack understanding. But what is the understanding that we're lacking? Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Because we're lacking an understanding as a people. That's why we're in the condition we're in. Because we're not lacking understanding when it comes to sports. When we watch sports, we can tell you, hey, LeBron James had 27 points, 9 rebounds. 13 assists, can't we do that? We know that. We can tell you how many points the Patriots scored last week. We're not lacking understanding when it comes to that. We're lacking understanding about what's most important, our heritage and God's laws. Right. What we're supposed to be applying. So read what you got. This is what we're lacking. Malachi chapter two, verse seven. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the Lord said the priest's lips, that's the pastors today who's supposed to be teaching our people in the Christian churches, and so on and so forth. Even our uh, civil rights leaders, so on and so forth, they're supposed right. to be teaching our people knowledge. But what is that knowledge? You know? And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. The law. 
is the knowledge of God. Read on. At his mouth. That's what we're lacking as a people. We are a lawless people. You know how we know we're lawless? Because brothers like me and you, not saying this, I'm just using us as exemplars. We will walk past each other, we'll mean mug each other, we won't say nothing. And then try to rob one another. Where is the civil where's the civil civility in that? You see what I'm saying? Why can't we love one another as brothers? Right We've been taught to be a certain way. We're very lawless. Right. Without this Bible, this is why we have the robbers. This is why right. we have the high crime rate. Right. This is why we have the mindset, I'm gonna sleep with a sister and I'm just gonna knock her off. Right. You see what I'm saying? I ain't got no intention of being with this sister. I don't give a damn if I get a pregnant she ain't right. up. That's why we have that mindset, because we're a lawless people. God tells us everything contrary to what we do today. It's all in the Bible, what we're supposed to be doing. So I got a question for you. How old are you? Huh? 20 years old, right? Let me get some of 20 years old. What's some things that 20 year olds partake in? Because I forgot. It ain't that long ago. I'm only eight years old. So what's some things that 20 year olds partake in? Our teenagers pretty much partake in. Okay, what do you partake in? Just be real with you. Okay, sports, what else? What's some things that you think you shouldn't be doing that you partake in? That's my question. Huh? Okay, hanging out with the wrong people. You got a girlfriend? You had a girlfriend? You never had a girlfriend? Alright, that's a good thing. You never had a girlfriend. How you doing, bro? What's your name? Octavius, I'm Aaron. How old are you? 14. Alright, Octavius. What's your name again? I'm sorry. Madoche. I'll tell you this Madoche. This your brother, all right? Just letting you know, because a lot of times y'all walk past each other, y'all won't even say nothing to each other. Don't that happen a lot? That's how a lot of black men have been taught to be in this in this in this captivity because we have no trust or no love for each other. But that day is gone. Because why? The most I send his prophets out to teach us the truth of the Bible and who we really are. That's Look, right. Both of you are gods. Both of you are princes on the earth. Right. But you have to live up to that name. It's a high expectation and call. So my question to you is, what's your nationality? Um, African American. African American. You ever thought about where that name came from? Just like you ever thought about where that name came from? Huh? It comes from two white men. Right. Did you ever ima imagine that in a million years? That you, your nationality came from two white men. It came from Leo Civio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci, or America's Vespucci. Right. Two yeah. white men, an Italian navigator and another navigator. Two right. white men named themselves, or named us after them. Can two right. white men have a black baby? That sound crazy, don't it? Two men, period, can't have a baby, can they? So how could they produce a nation of so-called black people like us? Right. They couldn't. What were we called before that? We were called the children of Israel. Right. And we still today, our rightful God-given name is the children of Israel. You understand that? So now, let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I'm going to show you how it changed, okay? And why we live in the conditions we in. And I have a question for you in the meantime. Things that young boys, 14, 15, teenagers, they do that they're not supposed to be doing to that they know they're not supposed to be doing. Smoking, what else? What we gonna touch on? Stealing, what else? You ain't never stole before? All right, me too. I'm just asking because I wanna know some of the things we deal with so I can show you, give you the medicine. God's gonna give us the medicine on how to get ourselves out of those situations. How to really repent, all right? What else? Robbing, right? So let's read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says, But it shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy Moses is giving the people that are aligned on that board right here, the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, But it shall come to pass, a future prophecy, if we do not listen to the voice of God. Now, have you ever been to the Christian church before? Church? What about you? A lot of times our people say that. God spoke to them. You ever heard that before? Well, let's see how God speaks to us today. Psalms 103 and verse 20. Bring it up. It's very important that we understand how God is communicating with us today. Because I don't know about y'all, but God never gave me a little voice where he came and spoke to me directly and said, Aaron, go do this. I never had that conversation with God yet. So there's another way I had to learn how to communicate with God and follow the instruction that God gave us. Right, read what you got. Psalms chapter 103. Verse 20. Uh -huh. Bless the Lord. He is anxious. Read it again. Read it slow. Bless the Lord. Uh -huh. He 
his angels uh -huh. that excel strength, Free. that do his commandments, Free. hearkening unto the voice of his words. Doing what? Hearkening unto the voice of his words. So it says hearkening, meaning listening to the voice of his word. Where is God's words? Right here in the Bible. Right. Yeah. We've had this Bible for hundreds of years now. But you want to know the difference between today and back then? Back then, we were not allowed to read this Bible, and we didn't have the level of understanding that we have today. Yeah. That's the difference. Today, we know who we are according to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Right. We are the children of Israel who fit all of the curses or the evils that have come upon us specifically today and wow. throughout history. So now let's go back to Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. And what we're doing is proving to you what your nationality is. Because somebody can tell you just like they told you you was African American, but they never proved it. Because you know what they would have had to do? They would have had to prove to you that Leo Silvio Africanus and Americo Vespucci created your nation of people. Right. Nobody created, nobody proved that to you. So we're going to prove to you that you are the descendants of the children of Israel. Bring it up. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. So we know what the voice of the Lord is. The Bible. This is what I was telling you. If you don't listen to the Bible and do the commandments that God gave you, read on. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, read. that all these curses, all these what? All these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said all these curses or evil things are going to come upon the specific people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and native Indians, if we did not follow God's rules. Let's get Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Let's see what that curse actually is. Because would you say a curse is a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing, would you agree? All right, so let's see what God said. Because that's all we're going to use is the Bible. This is the difference between us and a lot of these Christianity branches. They give you a sermon, but they don't read you what God said. We, God don't give a damn what I think or what any of these men think or what you or you think. Right. God only cares about what he put in his Bible and if we follow So read what you got. Amos chapter three, verse one. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, uh -huh. O children of Israel. Oh who? O children of Israel. I guarantee y'all never heard O children of Israel in the Bible this many times ever in y'all like that. Because this is God is only talking about. If you actually read the Bible, you'll understand God is only dealing with one nation of people. Read. Right. Against the whole family uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt uh -huh. saying you only have I known God said you only has he known Read. of all the families of the earth Read. therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities so God said out of all the families on the earth the Chinese, their family the Arabs, all the other nations, the Africans, I've only known you, but since you're my children and you disobey me I'm going to only punish you so now let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 Verse 48. Because you must understand who you are and what we have to do. We have to return back to God's law. Now you see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. 
IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.